Hello, my name is Gary Hughley, and I'm going to talk to you about my professional development plan that I've created. Um, I currently work at the American International School, and I'm kind of setting up this program from scratch. A professional development program needs to start by first identifying what the teachers need, um, not the reverse of, you know, we have professional development topics, now let's figure out how to fit those into the staff, but it should be done with the idea that teachers have needs, they, they have areas they need to work on, they need have areas they want to change, and we need to target the professional development to uh, address those needs. It's going to start, the process is going to start by identifying the needs of the returning teachers and the new teachers. Uh, each, each one has a different system. Then we're going to look at, okay, we already figured out what we need, what the needs are, what resources are available, what resources do we need, uh, because that's going to affect how the, the topics are taught. Then we're going to organize and plan those, develop, those activities based on the resources. The delivery methods are really important because with, with flexibility of time offered by online and blended learning, we don't necessarily have to deliver it face to face, although that is an option as well. So we need to figure out the de delivery method and then work on actually delivering the content. One of the areas that is missing, however, is the idea of assessing the professional development activity. During the activity, there's no observations occurring uh, to see that people are listening to the activity, that they're understanding the activity, that they care about the activity. So this assessment activity is going to be integral into my professional development process. Now, given that whole assessment of during and after the activity, there needs to be a follow-up, like, okay, did the, uh, did the activity actually be, was it effective? Did the activity work? Did the teachers listen to the activity? Did they integrate the activity? Did they like the activity? And then make changes, which will then go back to, okay, we need to identify needs. You know, this could work for next year as well. And the, the key point here, I think, is not just that it's a professional development program, but we're starting with the staff needs, looking at delivery, which is important. But the part I think that it should be emphasized more and more and more is that observations need to be built into this process. We need to observe people during the professional development activities. If they're sitting there looking at their phones and, and you know, <laughs> doing their nails or talking to people, it's, it's wasting their time and the point's not getting made. And we also need to take that observational data and do something with it. Now there's kind of a balancing act between topics and time versus delivery methods, appropriateness of material and assessment. We need to, to balance all these issues out to make sure that each, each activity's effective, appropriate, and it actually works. So this is an overview of my professional development activity, and thank you for watching.